Imaging USA 2024 was like no other in Louisville, Kentucky. PPA knows how to put on a good photography conference. Now, I had the opportunity to talk with some of the great people here, and the first one I have is Mark Cruz with Nikon. He's a senior marketing manager, and he got to tell us some of the things that are going to happen new with Nikon, like some lenses, and he told us about the information that has really grown Nikon in this mirrorless system to where it is today. Let's get into it, Mark. All right, what's up, Mark? How are you? Awesome. I'm Brad. Thanks, Braxton. Uh, Mark with Nikon. Yes, sir. Yeah, what do you Nikon do at Nikon? USA. I'm a senior manager with Nikon USA yeah. uh, in their marketing department. Nice. Now, so when it comes to the marketing and developing what's coming new, how do you decide uh, how not to give too much information to us online? <laughs> how do we decide that? Uh, well, whatever is published, that's what we can talk yeah. about. But uh, what's uh, different about the last couple of years with Nikon is uh, we've released a roadmap just yeah. to give people some anticipation of what the Z line is all about. We really built this ground up, uh, this system from the ground up. Yeah. It's new for a lot of people, so they don't know whether it's, they should stick with their DSLRs or see what's up with this yeah. mirrorless format. So um, we've slowly been building out almost month by month new product on average. Right, I've dropped uh, a lot of new lenses lately. Yeah, yeah. Tons. yeah. In 2023 and even the year before, a lot of super telephoto lenses, but now we're looking at portrait lenses, yeah. these 1.2 lenses, this new Plena lens. Really exciting for uh, portrait photographers, but sports and lands, uh, wildlife photographers. And now we got the technology and the cameras to back it up. Yeah. So we have the Z8 and Z9 now. It was rated as camera of the year for 2023. Year before that, Z9 camera of the year with a few pu key publications. And uh, I think people are really enjoying the fact that these cameras deliver on autofocus just as good or if not better than the D6 yeah. before that, our best autofocusing camera. And all the cool things you can do with the video now. I mean, with a Z8, you're looking at a body that's around $3,700, $3,800, and you can get 8K video in this at 60p with internal RAW. So a lot of exciting things for the hybrid shooter, I would yeah. say. Um, but one thing I can tell you going into the future is we still got one more lens on that roadmap right now. And that is a 35 millimeter. One point. Two, oh, I two, can't say the aperture. I can say that it's an S line two. lens. All I the know a lot of people point two, are so. speculating what it's going to be about, but all I can say it's a 35 millimeter S line lens. And we're looking forward to that, uh, to completing the roadmap. Whoa, pull up. This is the first of five episodes where I got to talk to people at Imaging USA 2024 in Louisville, Kentucky. Now, I need you to go ahead and click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified when the next video comes out. I talked to Professor Hines. I talked to Mark Cruz. I talked to Gary Jones, who won the Grand Imaging Awards. I talked to Vincent, who actually works at PPA, and I got to talk to Vanelli. If you don't know Vanelli, he's a wealth of information in the ph photography industry. But... I need you to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can see the rest of these videos. Let's get back to it. Okay, yeah. perfect. So quick two-part question before we get out of here. One, why should people leave their DSLRs and come to mirrorless? And two, why should people leave everything else and come to Nikon? Well, I'll answer the first part. Uh, they don't necessarily have to leave the DSLR. DSLR is still a great format for a lot of people. Um, and we've delivered many, many lenses over the decades. We're actually celebrating Nikkor's 90th year yes. making lenses, including the Z-mount lenses. Yep. It's all part of the Nikkor family. Um, but uh, the advantages of going to the Z-system Nikkor is that we have way better resolution. Yep. That's really the sharpness that you were getting from these lenses because the Z mount now has been totally redesigned. It's a larger mount with a smaller flange distance. What that means is these lenses sit so close to the sensor and what our optical engineers can do is design elements that really render sharp detail. We're talking about 45 megapixel yeah, cameras yeah. here, but the detail that you can get from it is way beyond what the SLRs could noticeably. If you're really these fine photographers that look at those details. The other reason is for video. It's way more advanced in terms of the video capabilities. We got 8K now, but we got all the focusing schemes and the uh, aids that uh, videographers want to have, like waveforms and peaking and zebra stripes. We've got all that in here. Plus, you get all the cool lenses of the Z system. Now, in terms of the brand question that you yeah. put forward, um, I would say that Nikon is really focused. Uh, we're at heart an optical company, but we pay a lot of attention into the workflow of the enthusiastic professional photographer that just loves the craft. Every single button we have, the positioning, the contours of this, the mechanical design. That's hands down the best feeling camera in hand to me. Yeah, and that is, that's what I think people need to do to appreciate a Nikon camera and get their hands on it. That's why 
shows like this is really important because you can only glean so much from a website and the internet and specs. Yeah. A lot of the experience is putting your hands on it, looking through the EVF or the electronic viewfinder and just feeling the workflow. And I think that's what we pay a lot of attention to that you can't really put on a spec sheet. Um, and that's, I think, at, at, at the heart, the advantage of the Nikon brand as a whole. Thanks, Mark. I appreciate Correct. it. Nice speaking I, to you. I've been solid, so you don't have to sell me. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. I, uh, I look forward to seeing some of your stuff. It's coming soon. All right, man. All right.